in the day, if I had some complex SQL statements that needed to dynamically change, I would do it all in Excel and then I just hard code it into a notebook. I didn't know any better then and I didn't know about execute immediate. In its most basic form, you're making a string that looks like a SQL statement, maybe from other strings, maybe from variables, and then you're running it using the execute immediate statement. Now you could do this in Python or Scala, but if you're doing a migration and you want to stay in SQL, here's how you do it. Let's do a simple example. I have this string that's a SQL statement, and if I put execute immediate before, it runs just as a normal SQL statement. Now that's not very exciting, so let's pass in some variables, and there's a few ways to do it. I could just use question marks to say where the variables should go and the using keyword to denote the values. But this gets confusing when you've got many question marks or things don't stay in order. So instead, let's name these variables and what we're also going to do is make the SQL string a variable too. We're going to use the colon to mark where our variable should go and then we run execute immediate, we have the predefined string and with using, we're going to set where our variable should be. Note, they don't have to be in the correct order anymore. One final thing I'm going to show you, if you've only got one row in your result, you can put them back into other variables and that's going to be using the into keyword. In my example, I'm going to put the results into two variables. So first I need to define them up front, then I have my SQL, and it's after my execute immediate statement that I use the into to put the results into my variables. And now I can use them as part of any old query. If you made it to the end, well done. But if you are thinking, how could this possibly be useful? I really recommend you go check out Serge's blog on Community where he talks about how you can use execute immediate to find primary key violations. Go ahead and give this a go. You will need a cluster with runtime 14.3 to get started. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is on Data and AI, follow for more.